Tracy, it's Phil. Phil, where the hell are you guys? We lost Doug. What? We're getting married in five hours. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> where is Doug? The Hangover is, you think it's going to be this big comedy about the night out in Vegas and all the things that are going to go down? Do a night the four of us will never forget. And then completely stops and swings it the other way. We wake up in the morning after the bachelor party night. Am I missing a tooth? I can't. Oh. <laughs> I look like a nerdy hillbilly. There is a tiger in the hotel room for no apparent reason. <laughs> There's a baby that's just sitting there. Check its collar or something. We have chickens running around. The suite that we got is completely demolished, and we have no memory of what happened. I looked everywhere. Nobody's seen Doug. I don't think I've ever been this hungover. What's on your arm? You were in the hospital last night. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to kind of piece together what happened the night before because they're missing the group. I think it was just you guys and one other guy. Was he OK? He was fine. Just whacked out of his mind. <laughs> oh, we were messed up. He's misplaced. And the movie is to try to find Doug. There's Chinese gangs. Do you give us our 80 grand back? Not my problem. There's Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson? <laughs> this is my favorite part. Oh, oh. Man, he still got it. I'm turning the page, and then there's something else that's going on. And then it kind of all is pieced together, this trying to figure out what happened. Ah. Oh, oh, God. Every big action or crazy, ridiculous scene that we shoot is directly moving the story forward. In the face! Yeah. It just was like a nonstop roller coaster of hilarity. I lost a tooth. I married a whore. What is going on? I mean, we stayed at Caesar's Palace because we shot the first month in Vegas. That helped a lot. It sort of got Vegas in our blood. The kind of comedies that I do and the kind of comedies that I respond to take place in the real world. Let's really shoot in the lobby of Caesar's Palace. Let's really walk down the hallway or be in the elevators that are really at Caesar's. And that adds something to the audience's experience of seeing the movie. It was important to Todd to make sure that we sold the movie as being real. And that kind of adds to it, instead of it being too theatrical or over the top kind of a thing. This isn't the real Caesar's Palace, is it? What do you mean? Did Caesar live here? Um, no. I don't think so. When we walked into the lobby, Todd just looked at it and said, wow, wouldn't it be great if we could shoot here? This is perfect for us. And so we approached Caesars, and they totally got it. They understood 100% that this is the go-to destination that these guys want to go to to have a great night in Vegas. Is it awesome? It's pretty awesome. Then once they said yes, they put the entire Caesars group on our side. Whatever we wanted, we could have. Thank you, guys. Or should I say, Thank you, Stu. You're welcome. It's only because I love you. Their chemistry is real, and, I, and they, um, they were having fun. You know, they were making each other laugh. Look, it's just, it's insane. It's awesome. It's hysterical. It never stops. Open it! Some guys just can't handle Vegas.